Okay? This is the most brilliant muscle computer instrument that you could ever have. It's your brain. You've got to load it up with information. You've got to load it up. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to give you false information. You dig? Let's go. So Bobby Hem is one of them. Dr. Francis Crest Wilson wrote the book, The ISIS Papers, Keys to the Colors. Okay? Monumental in what she was able to do to break down racism, white supremacy, and the psychosis behind it. So there's one thing you can just look at the material aspect on the on the surface and you'd be like, oh man, they okay, they wrong, or you crazy. But no, it's the why. A lot of people <coughs> don't even know why. Go, why, 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 why? Well, it breaks it down. And she did a family, a fabulous job of breaking that down. Uh, also, Dr. Deborah Blair, okay? Metaphysics, metaphysician, okay? And jumping in some into some things that was very key, including he was the one really that pioneered or spearheaded uh, the aspect of saying, hey, look, you need to turn your Wi-Fi off in the house when you go to sleep. Unplug your electronics in your house when you go to sleep. Number one, the Wi-Fi is extreme low frequency, L, okay? Low frequency. These waves are constantly bombarding you. So when you have Wi-Fi on, and right now in this room, you can't see it, but we're being bombarded by all kind of energy, all kind of waves that alters the brain. Okay? So imagine all this alteration going on with little children where their brains have not fully developed. Okay? All right? So these are little things that he signaled in on. Okay? And uh, now Dr. Francis Cross, well, Welsing, and this gentleman here uh, both passed in February last year. Okay? Uh, so they are the, uh, in the ancestral realm. Father Dick Gregory <coughs> also passed, okay? Activist, comedian, okay? Out there on the for, uh, front lines, all right? Dropping the science, okay? Uh, this is like we talked about when some, some people would say, uh, you might hear in politics, oh, well, you know, they're just an entertainer. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Hmm? Because you're an entertainer, you don't know nothing? Okay? We have to dismiss that stuff just thinking because somebody's in one position that that's all, the only lane they're supposed to stay in. You don't know what they're doing the other hours of the day when you don't see them on TV or hear them on the radio or something. You don't know, okay? Earth, Wind & Fire, my favorite band ever, okay? They were the deepest, one of the deepest bands to come out, and they touched what? They got in touch with the ancestors, basically, okay? They went to the source. You got to bump their music, okay? If you don't listen to any type of old school music, you better listen to some Earth, Wind & Fire. Okay, I know it's a generation gap and this, that, and the third, but you know what? <laughs> we know that today's music is always built on the foundation of old music. When you hear samples and this, that, and the other, it's always coming from the old school. So you got to respect the old school while appreciating the new. And the KRS One, okay? Um, and he had the last one, but I got to say this. Everybody was talking you know, a few months ago, who's going to have the album of the year? There's some great people out there, you know, uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar, Jay-Z, and... Uh, uh, what's my girl? Uh, Carly B. Uh, Carly B. But no, I ain't talking about her. I'm talking about uh, Rashid. Okay, Rashid is that they would get down with any any of them clowns out there. Okay, but uh, and there's another brother. I'm gonna throw this brother out here. I just told uh, Jermaine earlier. But there's a rapper that y'all need to get into. His name is Cam Bob. Cambodia. He's out of Connecticut. He's in New York. This brother goes hard, okay, with the spiritual systems, the ancient wisdoms, the ancient uh, spirituality, and so forth, and being connected with the esoteric aspect, and then still just dropping hot bars like he was just on the block, okay? Y'all need to look him up. He just dropped one of uh, his second album, uh, 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 Holy Ghost. He's got some fire. But I'm going to tell you this. To me, he dropped the album last year. In February, nobody knew about that could have been that should have been album of the year. Okay, so y'all need to peep out KRS One. He dropped an album called "The World Is Mind." Okay, same thing that this is, this touches on. Okay, same thing that the Hermetica and the Kabbalion will touch on are operating inside the mind of the Creator. The Germans called it God. That's the German word. The ancients called it Atum. A-T-U-M. See how easily we can get the Adam, A-T-O-M, or Adam, A-D-A-M. Twisting the language. All right, so Karis one Paul Mooney. Now, if you've never heard some Paul Mooney, I suggest you go listen to some Paul Mooney. 
okay? Because what he did, much like Malcolm X did, okay, was put the mirror in front of America and just basically tell you who you are. <coughs> and when people get mad when you tell them who they are, so what? You're telling the truth, okay? Truth over everything. Truth over everything. And I advise you go jump on some YouTube and listen to his videos. Or if you got Amazon Prime, you can go <laughs> watch his videos on there. You can watch his stand up. One of the most brilliant dudes that ever graced the stage with the microphone and tell jokes. He wrote for Richard Pryor. He wrote for the, uh, uh, all types of comedians, television shows, Sanford, a whole bunch of things that he's done did. And he's been blackballed from Hollywood because why? He's too black and he's unapologetic, uh, unapologetic about it. Now, why is it that you can be too black, but you can't be too white? How can you be too black when you stole everything and repackaged it? How can you be too black? You should honor the blackness. And which <laughs> they do, they just don't tell you. Okay? The Pope worships the black Madonna. It's another story. One thing I give it up for Prince. Oh. <laughs> See, you know what? The more and more he was going on with his career and realizing what was happening, you see what he did. He broke away and he was breaking the programming. You see the brother that said, I'm going to come with the natural now. You got to comb the hair out. You know, and this is what I love. I love seeing this. And I would love to see, and this is me, okay? This is me. Hey, thank you, sister. Just pour your natural, all right? You know, I recognize the divine within, okay? Um, why can't we rock our naturals? I mean, right now, I'm, I'm well, I ain't going to be able to pull it off anymore, okay? I'll give you a little Lakota sack or something like that, okay? But, you know, why, why aren't we doing that? I mean, a lot of brothers just go ahead and keep the nappy look or this and the other. Thank you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because we was here last week. Thank you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But no, but that's real. I mean, look. Look at the impact. We operate on visuals as human beings, okay? The visual is everything. Okay? That's our stimulus. Okay? And so we respond to the visual. So could you imagine what it would look like in the schools if all the brothers and sisters are walking around with froze? What? Are you kidding me? They already had schools trying to ban box braids in different states before. Yeah. Right? They don't start banning the afro if they see that. Why? It's fear. Fear that you're going to rise up and actually wake up and learn who the hell you are and realize what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do this great work that's taking place, okay? I'm not gonna see this thing come to fruition. I know I'm not, because we're too far gone. But we're setting the building blocks. That's why you're here. That's why I plant seeds in on good ground called my children, okay? So that their children's children can see it happen. But we gotta put the work in now, okay? This is a marathon, this is a marathon. So I had to throw the shout out to Prince. All right. This is my affirmation. This is just kind of what I roll by. I'm just going to kind of go through this quickly. I'm going to share Atum. Like again, Atum is the ancient word for God, the creator, the universal prime creator that we operate inside of. I must share Atum's identity by leaving behind the material world and imagine myself immeasurably expansive. I will rise out of time to eternity, for nothing is impossible. My immortality comes with full gnosis. That's knowledge. That we're going to get into it. In every art and science, I am in every living thing. I am higher than the highest and deeper than the depth. I will embrace within myself all opposites, heat and cold, hard and fluid. I am everywhere at once, on land, at sea, in heaven. I am all phases of life, unborn in the womb, young, old, and dead, and beyond the grave in the ancestral realm. I see how everything coexists within mind. Realization of this gives me gnosis of my tomb. Mind produces my divinity that gives me the capability of rising to heaven. My soul is nourished by fire and air, and my body by water and earth. Mind is my fifth element. Anybody say, ever, seen, ever seen that movie, The Fifth Element? Okay, go back and watch that, okay? All right, there's a few that we're going to go over, too. Um, uh, my mind is the fifth element, which comes from light. Mind and speech was bestowed upon me alone. When I say that, I'm talking about animals don't speak, right? It was given to us, the speech, which is different. That's our connection with our tomb with the great one, okay? These are my great gifts. I will use these great gifts as my guides, leading me to join the company of gods and other souls that have attained the supreme <coughs> bliss. 
My speech is an, is an image of our tomb. Why? Because I'm part of the all. So are you. Never forget that. Mind is a prize for my soul to win. To win, I must immerse myself in mind to recognize the purpose of my birth. I will ascend to bathe myself in mind to find true knowledge and become complete. Because of my pursuit of true knowledge, the mass of ignorant people will hate and ridicule me, but I shall not waver from the path. This is how I roll, okay? If you couldn't tell. All right, so how do we break the spell that has kept melanated, melanin-based beings in an endless cycle of mental servitude and docility? Why do IOs, this is the term I just put out here, this is indigenous originals, kind of like that, it flows, okay? Why do IOs continue to remain under the boot of the enemy of the United States and, or in the United States and the diaspora, like globally, across everywhere? Why do IOs continue to fall for the same tricks? Why is there a war on IOs around the world? How do we not recognize that they are in a war? I will answer these questions and more as we dive into the proverbial rabbit hole using critical analysis and good old fashioned common sense. Ever heard of that? Yeah? yeah? Because in some, some debates today, common sense doesn't even exist, okay? It's all about how I feel right now. Well, what about how you feel 10 minutes from now? Okay, feelings are fleeting, just like happiness. You will never, the pursuit of happiness, happiness is a flaw, is a lie. Okay, when it says in the Constitution, your declaration, pursuit of happiness, really? Well, happy, you be happy for now, and then you'll be upset about something else the next day. Okay, it's fleeting. Okay, it's not like joy. Joy is different. All right, what's going down? Let's talk about this. All right? This is, this is like that, you know, this is the news right now, okay? This is the, the hard copy right now, okay? One of the things that we need to understand something, okay? And we're going to get into this when we go into the hermetic um, text here and the, the seven the hermetic principles. But in dealing with France still raping Africa, along with other countries, but France, who used to colonize, who had colonized several countries in Africa, okay, is still receiving payments. Payments from African countries, 14 African countries right now, it's a tax, taxation without representation. So you're no longer there. But it said, well, because you wanted to be independent, now we got to get out your country, you got to pay us for building your country up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So that's what's going on. So I'm going to say this, and I, I really don't care. <laughs> like I said, I don't care how people feel about, about this. And I, I, all I'm going to do is actually give some information here. Uh, let's see. One aspect. 14 African countries are still pay colonial tax. These are items, I mean, look. When I talk to students in the schools, and I drop some science, I bring up some information, I tell them, look, these are some Google moments. You got everything at your fingertips right now. So if I'm out of line, you could check me right away and start to Google something. Now, we know not everything is completely accurate online. We know that. But for the most part, it is. Okay? Or you, you wouldn't even have an internet if that was the case. Okay? So let's not fall in for that lie. You can't believe everything on the internet. Okay, then every news service is on it. CNN is a lie then. Buy CNN. No, no, we can't roll like that. Okay? But this is what's going down. This is what has been going down. Okay? So you can find several write-ups about this aspect. Okay, France's colonial tax still in force for Africa, bleeding Africa and feeding France. So, when there is a terrorist attack in France, I don't cry. I don't change my profile pic to the flag of France. I mean, let's be real. How can you... How, how can you just sit there and, and, and want the world to cry for you when you're raping black and brown people? You're taking their wealth. You're creating poverty. But you want us to cry for you when somebody goes on a rampage and drives through the streets or this, that, and the third. I'm sorry, I'm not going to cry no tears for you. Because you ain't crying no tears for my ancestors and my brothers and sisters. This is real. This is the war that's going on. Like I said, hey, look, this ain't your grandpa's Black History Month lecture. 